Uh, hey everyone, welcome to my watch along for X-Men 97, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with Season 1, Episode 1, To Me, My X-Men, and then we're also going to watch Episode 2, uh, Mutant Liberation Begins. To Me, My X-Men. Debate this and more after the break. Oh wow, you got mutants taking advantage of mutants, it looks like. For every mutant we nab, says he He's not a mutant, it looks like, but he's got some kind of cyborg implant or something. Grab a sentinel blast. A sentinel blast. Oh, okay. Alright, that's rich. I am Storm. <laughs> oh, Surrender the boy! Or face my fury! Yeah. Uh-huh, you know that's not what he wanted to call her. Then you are a fool. I'm sorry, uh, what did you say? Did you? Adios. Good guy or bad guy? Name Cyclops. Definitely the good and, guy. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's... He looks close Name to normal. Time. Until he does that, at least. I like my mutant eye powers, but I, w I am not afraid to throw down with you, either. <laughs> okay, he was just showing off there. I mean, Cyclops, one of his... Scott, while I trust that all my students would gladly die for my dream of a better future, where both human and mutant live free of your total disdain Is that more fun, I would prefer it be avoided. Stopping it. Yeah, okay, morph. it's Morph. <laughs> morph, that was kind of a dick move, all right? Better show me those powers, tough guy. Seriously, girl, get a life. Wow. Oh, hey, Wolverine, how you doing? Show the lady some respect. Oh, so scary, Jubilee. Can we stop now? Computer and program. Whoa. <laughs> scary enough for you, bub? Okay, all right. Typical tough guy Wolverine intro. Oh. X-Men hitting the club. Okay. If I was down there and one of them brushed against my skin, my power sap and touch would leave him with a nasty hangover. Any worthwhile I mean, man would gladly suffer your hand in advance. I... I know that this is a thing with Rogue, but I thought, I thought we'd tread this territory before in the talk earlier episode. Let's just find this trust fund baby and get out of Damn, here. Damn, trust fund baby. I know what's wrong, world, and oh, hello, you on the sidelines watching our exhausting perfection <laughs> every day. They're leaving the team, Morph. Gene's leaving. I mean, good instincts at least. Why would I know where Trask is? Jesus, he looks like Norman Osborn with glasses. When you worked for the Defense Department. Gyrick. Tell me I'm wrong. Oh boy, verbal sparring. Ooh. Ten years, Gyrick. Yours to win or lose. I won the day I shot the man you freak shows. Dude. A for effort, Mr. Summers. But we both know you're not. Ooh, telepathic attack. Nice. Oh no, is that? Is that? Ooh, what the heck? Someone made of sand? Whoa. World made of ash? Oh boy. I am 
I am Skull Sentinel is what I am. Ooh, those are all gravestones. Hi. Well, um, so that got real quickly. Hope everyone brought their parachutes. All right, she can get Beast and Bishop. Um. Oh. Did he pack a parachute? What is he doing? Oh, okay. All right. That's what he's doing. All right. I... I, I mean, okay. <laughs> there we go. There's the episode title. I mean, do you think we've never killed Sentinels before? I mean, greetings, enemy mine. Enemy mine. Might I induce you to a change of heart? Louis, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful involuntary friendship. Louis? <laughs> Okay, all right, that's cool. <laughs> that's pretty badass. At least in comics. Oh, come on. Give him the forecast. The forecast? Omega level threat detected. I'm just gonna send a tornado at everyone, and I'm gonna summon an ice storm. And uh, yeah, we're just we're just we're just gonna rain down the sentinel body parts now. And now Master Mold gets you up. Us, okay, it's mutants, not mutant, not singular. Use the plural. Be grammatically correct, you supposed to. Okay, all right. So mutants are gonna turn into every character who's not already in. There. Okay. I'm cool with it. Oh, come on. You know it's not that easy, guys. The responsibility to choose teams falls to team leader. I know I've been hard-headed lately. Oh, no, we know it's your default setting, Scott. The X-Men could go on without the professor. Who the heck is going to lead the team? Uh, well, uh Storm is an obvious candidate. Professor's old office. What? Charles Xavier was the finest man. Oh my god. Despite our difference, Seriously? He never ceased to have faith in our friendship. Perhaps that is why the old fool has Oh my god, dude, be nice. Doing in our home. The last will and testament of Charles Francis Xavier. Everything he built, everything he fought for, now belongs to me. My X-Men. Okay, all right. That was that was a strong way to end the episode. Damn. I mean, part of me is sitting there going, eh, he's probably doctored it or it's it's a false document. I I don't know, but we'll see. Okay. So, that was exciting. That was that was a really strong start. There were a couple of couple of questions that I had, a couple of like things that I was like, okay, why did they do this? Um and I guess, I guess eventually I just kind of got over it. But like, so for instance, uh, Rogue and her, um, like her talking about people touching her and everything, it just seemed like at first, at first, that it was just going to be one of her little kind of pity moments where, oh, I can't touch people and this sucks. And how am I ever going to, you know? And the thing is, like, that's how it looked like it looked like that's the direction they were going to go and then they didn't she was just kind of like okay well i just have to be careful and so on and so forth so um so i liked that um it just seemed like they were setting up for that kind of pity party trope um we didn't see too much of bishop unfortunately uh i like that morph is just basically guest starring as any x-men that we or X-Men characters that we haven't yet seen. 
Uh, kind of makes me wonder if the Blob himself will actually show up, or Archangel for that matter. Um, what else? How do we think this is going to affect Scott and Gene and whether or not they're going to leave the team? Because uh, I don't know that Scott's going to want to leave at this point. But, I mean, Magneto... I'm not going to say he couldn't be a good uh, leader of the X-Men. In the comics, he has actually taken over uh, Charles' school for the gifted in his absence. But usually we kind of knew that he would be, you know, that, that it was temporary and that Charles would eventually be coming back once Magneto kind of fell off the wagon again. So, um, I don't know. Strong start. I like the addition of Sunspot. Uh, Roberto da, da Costa. Uh, I like the little kind of, uh, you know, flirtation that he and Jubilee have got going on. And uh, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm ready for more. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to do episode or season one, episode two, Mutant Liberation Begins. Interesting new... I'm gonna hum this every time. <laughs> Okay, that was fun. <laughs> oh boy. The depths you humans go. Oh god, he's coming into the zoo. Yeah, it's called the force field lady. Are intimately acquainted. Yeah. And he, Magneto is being a pretty good leader right now. He's he's doing what he can to like, you know, set people at ease, even if Scott refuses to do so. Fighting by my side. What is Jean gonna tell Storm? There are times when I think about the baby, his future, and I. I mean, you wish him to be born human. I have wondered what it would be like to be human. I mean, is, is that even in the cards me. here? But then I remember how my mutant gifts brought me to this mansion. Like, my understanding is that it's passed down pretty heavily through, through, you know, you, <sighs> through parentage. Since... Oh, hey, Val. How you doing? We're here for Magneto. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you didn't think this through, Val. Should have thought <laughs> I hereby place you under arrest for crimes against humanity. You will stand trial at the UN headquarters. He didn't tell me. A lot of that going around lately. Okay. I've heard some people, like, are not happy with Wolverine's voice. I don't care. As long as the guy is doing a decent job. Was the beginning of a new age. I think he sounds fine. The day mankind made Magneto pay. Uh -oh. Folks out there want the UN's head just as much as his. The protest is a breach in the perimeter. They must want Magneto. And the judges, ma'am. What in the blazes did we do? You gave a monster a trial. You got a name? Executioner. Execution. Oh my god. Looks like Magneto pay for So, uh, why don't you guys go ahead and hit the uh, bishop with those energy weapons, huh? Oh. What? <gasps> Oh my god. Oh. Whoa. Hurt my friends? Well, now you answer to me. Humanity answers to no one. Okay. I don't. Oh. Act 
like you got it so bad. Normal people have it hard too. Oh Harder. God! We just have... It's the whining. I hate it's the whining. whining. Oh, I hate people as like I hate this. You. Death strike. Oh, okay, it's more. All right. So, when he turns into someone, he gets their powers too. Scott, hurry. That's some cool Jeez. shape shifting. I don't Baby, think Mystique can Scott. do that. You all need to. Sorry, sugar. Okay. Not the and get this lady to a room. Now. <laughs> The lady has super strength, too. Ooh! I'm sorry, but this is touching a nerve with me right now. Damn. Let us see how their mob manners fare against the shock of good conduct! Okay, that was a, that was a nice little team-up right there. Uh-huh. What? The breeze is gone. Yeah, it depowered her. It. What has he done to me? He shot you with a Magneto, neutralizer. This was not what we wanted. Please. Do not make me let you down. <laughs> he has your eyes. <laughs> that had two meanings. Well, does he need a name? I was thinking Nathan. Nathan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nathan. Yeah. That's my boy. If it's Nathan a boy, Summers. it's Nathan. Nathan. Charles Summers. Mm. Uh, she doesn't control the weather. He's maybe a little bit scared by it now. He, I don't my know. Sister, you of all the X-Men know the heartbreak of saying goodbye, having said it so many times. So I ask that you help the others understand why I could not stay to say it this day. Oh, come on. My don't do that. Don't do a frickin' Wolverine, okay? I you of a bond you have more than earned. The blast had your name on it. Should be you leaving, mon ami. Oh. Bad. Not one minute. Storm will spend a day schlepping it with the basic folk and come right home, happy as a... <laughs> what did I say? Yeah, right. Back! Jean? I need the X-Men. Oh boy. Uh, what? Jean? When the Friends of Humanity try to overtake the UN trial and uh, one of them tries to assassinate Magneto, um, Storm takes the bullet for him, uh, loses her powers as a result, and Magneto basically helps to um, capture that guy and basically tells the judges, you know, <laughs> there was a time <laughs> that I would have killed you guys for doing any of this. And I'm trying to be, I, I didn't expect that. I did not expect that. Like, like that was good writing right there. I was expecting the Magneto of old who would have just been like, you know what? I'm going to bring you guys way up high. And I'm going to drop you and kill you. Uh, he didn't do that. You know, he's like, I'm trying to be better. Don't make me let you down, which I think is probably one of the best lines from this episode. So, um, Storm pulls a Wolverine. There, there are so many... So far in this show, there are so many nods to the comics that you don't have to have read the comics to enjoy those moments. But if you have read the comics, there are certain things that happen that you're like, oh, wow, I remember reading that from the comics. Like when Storm leaves, which I still was not crazy about that, but when Storm leaves, Wolverine did that um, in the comics when he was b basically kind of deprived of his adamantium skeleton. Um, and felt that he couldn't pull his weight on the X-Men team anymore. He He's like, okay, I need to go on a journey. And I don't think he puts himself on a bus. I think he just kind of like, you know, leaves the mansion in the night and waves goodbye to Jubilee. Um, and I don't know, like, I was 
just kind of like, oh, it's, you you already know this quickly that it's permanent. I'm not sure I would buy that at this point. I would stick around, you know. And I feel like they wanted to just kind of recreate that moment from the comics, which in and of itself is not a bad moment, but I don't see any dramatic or narrative reason to do it. Now, maybe, you know, through the course of the season, um, I'll see a good reason for why they did it, and then I'll be like, oh, okay, I'm okay with that now. But at least right now, it just felt like they were trying to mimic a moment from the comic for the sake of doing so, and I I didn't really care for that. So I was really surprised to see no Roberto da Costa. I figured he was going to be Jubilee 2.0, you know, the, the new mutant who sticks around, and he did not. He did not. But, uh, I mean, overall, I mean... You know, it's 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 a good episode. Uh, they were taking, you know, of course, the trial of Magneto, which was also a comics event. They pulled heavily from that. Um, they the guy who was calling himself Executioner. There was an X Men storyline called the Executioner Song, which had nothing to do with a costumed guy called the Executioner. You know, um, but yeah. Uh, this is a you know this really impressed from world with the caliber of i have journeyed across an ocean of stars quibbles, but for the most part the animation is good i mean it feels exactly like the 90s cartoon and i'm loving it so i want uh i i'm i'm, I'm eager to see more of that uh, the storytelling is pretty good. I really have been impressed with Magneto's characterization, and I hope that um, we get to continue to see more of that. Um, but I'm also interested to see what is going on with this whole, you know, gene double thing going on. And um, I have a feeling that if it turns out that Madeline Pryor is in this show then I have a feeling, guys, that we're going to see Mr. Sinister. It's just a, it's just a feeling, but wow. Um, if Ma Madeline Pryor was genetically engineered by Mr. Sinister, if I remember correctly. So, but um, yeah, overall, really good, really strong opening to this new new series or new iteration of an old series i guess of an old cartoon series but uh in the meantime i'm i'm happy i'm happy and i'm excited for this show and hopefully it continues to do very 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 well like good strong opening let's just keep it going again thank you guys for joining me tonight i really do appreciate it take care this is spidey librarian and until my next stream or upload i'll be wishing you a good day.